Expect some blitz packages sprinkled in here as they look to get him rattled early on in the pocket. Devin Nelson, the main tailback, ran for over 12 yards a carry last week, and he's got a big hole up the middle here. Nelson to the 45. It's a gain of 20 on first down for the Dragons. Well, he's got the ball or not. Another low snap dug off the turf. Martin going to throw for the first time over the middle of the field. It is incomplete. Call by you. Spilly was a sack master in sub packages a year ago. He moves into a starting role this year. Martin on third down. Hassled out of the pocket. Trying to scramble. Pocket collapses. He'll go down. Stood up for a four-yard loss. The pocket collapsed. Aiden Daly, the senior, knows. Wagner motions out of the backfield. Santino looking to throw. Now has to roll out. Trying to motion somebody to the sideline. Gets rid of it. Passes caught. Inbounds. And muscling across the 50 was Wagner. On the far outside, Hawks were without their all-conference wideout Anthony Brown last week. Not in there, at least on this play. This one thrown short, catch made, fighting his way forward to the 41-42 yard line goes Jones. Lewis motions out. Here comes a blitz. Santino gets crushed. Ball is loose. No whistle yet. Lewis scrambles, couldn't reel it in. Ball still loose, and I think the Dragons are going to come up with it. It will be Tiffin football. Poorly timed interception in the first half. It was a back-breaking fumble return for a touchdown that allowed the Marauders to put the game away, and the Dragons are going to strike first here. 30-yard touchdown run for Nelson. The crowd the line here, Ben. Six at the line of scrimmage for the Dragons. Santino takes the snap. Get rid of it. Quick go to the catch to the 45. Tries to hurdle a defender and goes leaping to the 44 of the Dragons. Again, Santino out of the gun. Takes the snap, only a three-man rush. Santino settles, now forced to scramble. Has some green in front of him. Here comes a late rusher. Santino throws, diving attempt to his left short. Now they gave up 33 to Millersville on opening night. Martin wrapped up and dropped. Back of the 15. The fifth-year senior, Temchin, is on him in the nation. They've got a lot of starters back, especially at the linebacker spot. Draw play, big gap up the middle, racing for a first down across the 40. Going to get rewarded. Nope. Quick toss into the flat for the tight end. Cole Schneider, he's over midfield to the Hawk 45. Pickup of 13. Gives Tiffin the opportunity to go quick again. Fake the handoff. Deep throw again down the left side, and it is caught. Reaching up to make the grab. A spectacular catch. First and goal from the six. Fake the handoff. Throw into the flat. Catch made. And escaping a tackle and getting into the end zone goes Jalen Thomas. Basically bring four every other snap. Santino flips it out of the backfield. Wagner has some room across the 25 to the 30 to the 35. He's hauled out of bounds by the shoulder pad. New set of downs. Fake the give to Wagner. Santino will keep it, and he's plowed down at the 39. But not a lot of guys who've seen a lot of time. Santino looking for a screen pass, and it's blown up. Brown again, all over it. In early down situations. Tiffin playing it safe here with a three-man rush. Santino settles in, throws over the middle. Oh, dangerous pass, and it's picked. Picked off by Tuame. Patrick Tuame, the redshirt sophomore with the interception, brings it back to the St. Anselm 39. They've been up for the task. Third down, handoff. Nelson grabbed from behind. And stopped after a gain of two. That's the fifth-year senior captain. Hawks looking for a big stop on defense. Martin going to throw. Has time. Backpedaling. Chucks it to the left side. It is incomplete. A little bit of contact, but the throw was over the head of Josh Lewis. But the defense draws up here. Again, a three-man rush. Santino steps up. Steps up, now going to run for it. Santino across the 40 to the 45, spins, and he's got the first down. Ran the ball 54 times in limited game action a year ago. Santino with a give to Wagner, not much room as the defense comes collapsing down the line. Wagner's going to lose two and try to get some points on the board. Brown showing blitz up the middle. Santino takes the snap. Here comes the rush. Thrown short. Catch made. But an excellent tackle. Stops him short of the first down. Had that big third down conversion on their second scoring drive as well. Martin fakes the handoff. Throws over the middle. Catch made. Rumbling across the 30. 
Goes the tight end, Schneider with his second grab. That one goes right up the seam. Hand off again, Nelson. Big hole up the middle, cuts to the right side. He rolls over the 15. Martin motions a receiver through, hands it off to the right side again. Hawks able to plug the gap. They'll keep it at a four-man rush. Santino throws it deep down the right side, looking for Goda. Couldn't pull it in. To be a, a, a successful quarterback in this league, to say the least. Here's a give, plenty of room, bouncing off the right side goes Ronald Blackman. They won't give it to him here. Martin to throw, sets, throws, incomplete. Oh, and a flag comes in. Approaching five minutes to play here in the first half. Martin fakes the handoff, sets, throws, deep down the right side to the end zone. Flag comes in. Picked up a gain of five. Quick snap back to Martin. Hawks were off sides, lofted to the end zone. It is incomplete. Another flag. Dragons get set quickly. Second and goal. Greasock again. This time he muscles it over and in. Second try is good for Greasock. His first touchdown of the year. Offense has moved the ball at times, but is yet to score today. Santino, a design QB run off the right side of the line, tries to turn the corner at the 25. Well, this is what you were calling for, Nick, an yep. opportunity to get in second and third and short. Yep. Santino throws, intercepted. Pass was a little bit behind the intended target, picked off by Caleb Street. Street had a 79-yard interception return for a touchdown last week and has a pick for the second in a row. Nelson plowing off the right side, cuts to the right across the 20, continuing to fight down near the 15. 2.27 to go here before halftime. Dragons looking to add to their 21-0 lead. Martin sets, lost to the back of the end zone, incomplete. Good coverage. Kind of move around pre-snap, sometimes lining up outside, sometimes inside. Can do it either way. Third and four, Santino pumps, throws. It is caught. Jones, a little bit of a juggle. 41 seconds to go. Santino has time, steps up, now escapes the pocket, going to look to run. Oh, he's crushed, Fuck. and the ball comes loose. It is going to be Tiffin ball. The Hawks are trying to say that the ball came out after Santino hit the ground. Hawks would do well to pick up a first down here early in the third quarter and try to gain some momentum. Give up the middle. Wagner has a big hole. Oh, and he tripped. He had some room to the right. He saw daylight. Lewis, the new tailback on first down. Santino with time. Throws it deep down the right sideline. Leaping catch made by Lewis at the 38. First play over 20 yards today from St. A's. They hand it off on first down. Now Lewis escapes an arm tackle. Stutter step to the 30. Second and one. Santino has time. Throws deep down the right sideline. Jones trying to come back to the ball. And a flag comes. Lewis the tailback to Santino's left. First and 10 from the 15. Santino to throw to the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown. The tight end. Carson Coda. Martin to throw, short over the middle, finds Stoltz. Ball. Ball went out. Hawks pick it up. Stoltz went airborne. Trying to balance out the ledger in the turnover department today. Santino on first down, throws, short, catch made, and a fumble there, and Tiffin will get it right back. It is scooped up, and still taking it the other way is Raymond Jackson all the way for a touchdown. I'm trying to find a way to convert here. Wagner motions out of the backfield. Santino throws short catch made. Horton, and he's not going to get anything after. If that is the case, then that second and third levels are going to have to wrap up. Here comes the rush. Martin steps up, throws. It is incomplete. Well timed. Go to off the right side of the line with the other tight end, Tellier, behind him. They do hand it off. Wagner up the gut, fights across the 15 to the 20, yep. and a first down. Yep, he's a very good, very versatile versatile player. Second, versatile. second down and 10. Here comes the rush. Santino tries to escape, gets rid of the pass. It's intercepted. Wow. What a great toe tap along the sideline by D.J. Harris. Where Tiffin has not hit a field goal yet, even though they're in range, but a big gap off the left side. It's going to be a first down for Blackman. Hit at the 10, pushed out at the 8. Martin out of the gun. 
We're going to look to throw. Has time. Throws deep over the middle. Leapy catch made. And able to get the feet down was Trent Hacker. Lewis out of the backfield on third down. Santino throws. Jones with a catch. And he's going to get across the 45 for a first down. Here comes the rush on third. Santino, little stutter step, trying to create space. Has to get rid of the ball. It is incomplete. Second down and eight. Martin will throw. Squares looking for the sideline. It's caught. Nicely thrown ball there. Yes, sir. Try and shorten this fourth quarter. They're going to bring their starting running back back in here on second and ten. And Nelson will get the give. He's hit right in the backfield. Martin to throw. Here comes the rush. That's Martin gonna is going to be grabbed. Oh, he escaped. Martin's still loose and now is going to be tripped up and sacked. Will Klein eventually cleaned him up. And end this thing on a positive note going into week three. Santino waits, finds Goda at the 50. Morgera, the man in motion. Here comes the blitz. Swung out to Wagner in the backfield across the 45 to the 40. Easy pickings on a first down. Ferguson goes in motion. Santino to throw. Here comes the rush. It's going to be intercepted. Fumbled, but picked up again by Tiffin. But he is held up, and again, all the roots on the root tree are available for a kid with that kind of arm strength. It's a team leading fourth catch there for Schneider. This one nabbed at the 40-yard line, a leaping catch. Give to Blackman, hitting the backfield for a loss. Mm. Third down and forever. Martin throws over the middle. Caught short of the first down. There's a flag in the backfield. Yeah, another hold. Third and even longer. Here comes the rush on Martin again. He gets rid of it. It's complete to Lewis underneath. Lewis, the back in motion. Forkner squares, tucks. He's going to run. Mm. Oh, he gets decked. Yep. And he's going to draw a flag. He was already into the slide. Yep. And a throw for the first time to mm. Lewis. Hit out of the backfield. I'm going to say incomplete pass. Yeah, no football move yeah, made there. That was in and out of his hands as soon as he touched it. Now motion's out. Forkner to throw. Sets. Throws. It is incomplete. Great timing on the jump there. Raymond Jackson looking for from the Tiffin 43. First down markers at the 28. Forkner. Sets. Has a little bit of time. Steps up. Mm. Oh, he fumbled it. Lost it as he was looking to throw or tuck and run. GMAC opener as they take on Northwood. Here's Blackman with a carry off the left side. Cut it back across the 35. Hawks jumped. No flag. Martin going to take a shot for the end zone. It is caught. caught. Wow. Down inside the five. A nice wow. leaping catch by Linkhart. Trying to hold it once again here. Greesock plows in from two yards out. Second touchdown for Greesock today. Well, after a record-setting opener, the Tiffin Dragons come on the road here to Manchester today and pile up 42 points thanks to a whopping seven takeaways from their defense, three fumble recoveries, four interceptions, and it powers the Dragons to a 42-7 victory on the road against St. Anselm today. Case and Martin, a couple of touchdown passes. Carson Greesock had a couple of touchdown runs. Devin Nelson over 100 yards on the ground today as once again it was the ground game that led the way offensively for Tiffin.